The next speaker is the Earl of Dart Dartmouth. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Well, it's very good that somebody else is passionate about a trade agreement. Anyway, Singapore is a success story. Singapore now has a bigger GDP per capita than Germany. But Singapore is not, repeat, not part of a very large trading bloc. Perhaps the ill-informed UK Remainers will note that basic fact. The EU-Singapore deal is a success for free trade principles. And by the way, to, answer, to respond to a point that was made, this is it's now been signed 45 years after the, EU, after the UK originally joined the EU. The EU's method of trade agreements is a bit like Strictly Come Dancing. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. In the agreement, tariffs will be abolished entirely on a wide range of manufactured goods. And between the EU and Singapore, there will be mutual recognition of professional qualifications. But what the agreement does not require is freedom of movement of people. This demonstrates again that free trade and free movement can be, indeed are, entirely separate. Now to Brexit. The EU grants Singapore the abolition of tariffs, but at the same time the EU sabre rattles about a hard tariff border with the UK. For Singapore, the EU liberalises trade in services. At the same time, the EU scaremongers about impeding the existing trade in services between the EU and the UK. One day, perhaps, the EU will show the same sound commercial sense towards the UK that it is currently showing towards Singapore. But I have to say, it's probable that that day will come only when the current President of the Council, Mr Donald Tusk, finds his own special place in hell. For the record, Mr Tusk's, Mr. Tusk's planned and toxic abuse will achieve nothing. It doesn't belong with a senior politician, and it is not in the least bit helpful. So I commend to the EU authorities, and I see a distinguished representative here, to sign a similar tr treaty with the EU on Brexit that, with that which you have entered into with Singapore. Thank you for your time and understanding.